Hi there, my name is Bram Stolk. I'm an indie game developer and I would like to introduce my new game and it's called Children of Orc. So, here we've got a little orc and she lives on this planet and this planet is procedurally generated with the trees and the rocks and the terrain and that's where she lives. So, Children of Orc is a real-time strategy game but with a twist and so we only directly control one single orc and um, to get the other orcs involved we actually have to walk over to them and ask them to perform certain tasks so okay here's our little orc control is pretty simple we just click when where we want her to go and then um, once she get, gets to a certain tile, um, there are con context sensitive um, actions she can perform here. So she can pick up lumber, pick up an empty bucket, pick up a pickaxe or pick up a wood axe. Um, so if we pick up the bucket, then now she's walking around with the bucket. And she can only carry one object at a time, so we have to drop the bucket before we can pick up the wood axe. So with this axe we can actually do some harvesting. So let's walk over to this tile with a tree and we'll, this will pop up, cut tree. And let's get to work. And she's hammering away. And so We've uh, got a piece of timber here, before we can pick that up we drop the X and then we pick up the timber and now we can take that timber to a saw mill which we have here. It's a bit hard to see but if we peek inside we see, oh I'm sorry about that, we see a saw. So now let's go inside. Come on, inside, and let's do some sawing. So now the timber has been converted to lumber, and with this lumber we can start building and building up our world. We can build buildings, uh, bridges, roads, things like that, but for the sake of this video I thought we would build some build a bridge today. So um, to build a bridge for all the building you first have to plan them and, and stake out the ground where you want to build. So let's pick up, uh, let's see, the bridge marker and let's make our way over to a good site for a bridge which I think is here. If we would start a, to build a bridge here would reach it here on the other side of the shore so that would be a good bridge um, so here our orc is making her way to that construction site at least it will be a construction site as soon as we stake it out so here we have stake bridge marker and the construction has been started and it will go in this direction. Now, we can see here that uh, there are three stones required, three bricks and three wood and we've got zero available at the moment. And there are several ways how we can go about this. One is to just walk over and do the, the labor ourselves. So we pick up the lumber walk back to the construction site we deliver the lumber and now we will see that um, one of the three uh, lumber uh, is present but of course there are plenty of other orcs we should put to work so we greet this orc let's see now uh, why don't we go into the woods and talk to this orc 
and this org is called Janet and we tell Janet, Janet why don't you um, well why don't you get some stone for the bridge so there goes Janet let's see uh, the plan that Janet has made so Janet's plan is to find the pickaxe pick up the pickaxe which is already done walk to a rocky area which is what she's currently doing and then cut stone drop pick X and pick up stone so let's see how she goes about that and there she's off delivering the stone now all these orcs are very intelligent in the sense that they will adapt their actions and their plans to the current situation so um, uh, let's say uh, we ask one of these orcs, we first greet them, procure some lumber. Um, now this this orc here, called Amy, she picks up uh, some lumber here which, was, which happened to be lying around. Um, however, if there is no lumber that can be scavenged, the orcs will take a wood axe and fell a tree and take the timber and to the sawmill and get the lumber now uh, they will even go so far as if there is no wood axe available anywhere in the world they will manufacture their own axe so they will go to an iron mine they get some iron ore they smelt it into an ingot, and I'll take the ingot and they'll forge it into a wood axe and then they uh, fell a tree, go saw the, the timber, etc. So they're, uh, they're very smart and they adapt their uh, actions to the current situation and what needs to be done. Okay, so this bridge has been supplied with all the materials we need. So there are some things we can do, we can, um, there's also a hammer lying around here, so we walk to the tile and we pick up the hammer. We could build a bridge ourselves here, but you know what, let's just tell this orc to build a bridge. Uh, maybe drop the hammer for this orc and then greet the orc and say, you build bridges. So pick up hammer, walk to bridge work build bridge that's what this org is doing now so let's see how that goes and there we've got the complete bridge okay I'm a bit surprised this bridge uh, is supposed to be built one section at a time very slowly taking a lot of resources but there is a bug in my code which immediately completes the entire bridge this needs fixing but at least you can now see what the finished bridge looks like it has this nice curved shape to it because of following the curve of the planet um, yeah so um, that's how this um, game uh, does the bridge building we can do something similar for buildings um, we stake out the start and the end of the road and then um, have the orcs supply it with stone and, and build the roads um, here we've got a storage area if there are materials which are currently not required then uh, the materials that are harvested are put into storage here there are apple trees which provide food for the orcs we can pick those up now and eat them so yeah um, this is a, a short introduction to the gameplay what you can expect uh, when playing children of orc I hope um, you'll check it out and I would like to thank you for watching and um, yeah um, uh, keep an eye on it uh, we hope to be um, 
published on Steam soon. Thank you very much.